And I was a bit uh, surprised too for those two sectors to be singled out. Um, but from the industrial perspective, it is also not a big surprise because when you look at the railway sector, for example, uh, very few railways in China actually make a profit. But when you think about the benefit they bring to the local population, to the regional economy, it's tremendous. So there has been talk about maybe we, we need a different management and evaluation system for infrastructure investment like this and how those companies should operate and what other models they can follow to actually generate more profit. Uh, some of those railways are run quite successfully. Um, for example, the one between Shanghai and Beijing, because that's where most of the population are flowing. Uh, that's where the business activities are concentrated. But also several railways in Guangdong province, they're also doing well. And that is a combination of uh, the, the malls, uh, the local property development along with the railways. And that model was directly copied from Hong Kong. So in the future, we cannot expect the Chinese population to grow as fast as before. And the migration flow is shifting more uh, from between provinces to the local counties to uh, the provincial capitals. So uh, the migration flow is becoming more regional as well. And that means um, when we think about the future for Chinese railways, they need major reform. And for the energy sector, interestingly, it's a different direction because most energy sector is quite profitable. Even in this economy, it's not just the green energy industries, but also the traditional energy industries. Think about it, the coal, the oil. Uh, the more we stress about a green transition, the more profitable actually the traditional energy sector would become because they're a very important supporting facility for the new energy like solar and the wind mm. since they are running by intervals. They cannot run day and night. The more solar power station you build, actually the more coal power station you need to uh, set there in order to make sure that energy would flow uh, non nonstop. So um, the main reform direction in this sector is that it tends to become monop monopolistic very quickly because uh, there's a high entry cost. The fixed asset investment is quite high. Usually only the state-owned sector can afford uh, the initial uh, fixed asset investment, mm -hmm. that amount of value. And the local government were heavily involved in a lot of those investments. And as we can see it, many of the local governments are also running out of cash. They need more tax, uh, a broader tax base in order to support the future build up of the energy uh, facilities or further infrastructure investment. So reform is definitely needed and it actually requires a much higher participation from the private industries. This is CGTN Radio. Here. The difference.